who wants to be fighting, right? If you're in the middle of a war, you're in the middle of a gun fight or missiles fight or bombs or whatever it is, you know, who, no one wants to be doing that. No one is thinking to themselves, oh yes, this is great and I want to keep doing it. And I would like to just fight until, well, I guess people do probably think that, until I've destroyed all of the enemy. That's we're pretty heavy stuff, guys. It's pretty heavy stuff. Because um, you have to coexist. I mean, that's like law numero uno of nature. It's like you have to coexist. So if you can learn that, you have to coexist. That's why you're here. You're here to coexist. That is, you've been given life in order to coexist with life. So it would not make sense to continue fighting with yourself, looking at another tribe of people and saying, yeah, let's wipe them off the face of the earth so that we can be here is not the way to do things because your life is a gift that was given to you so that you could coexist with all those other people. That's why you're here. You're actually here so that you can coexist, so that you can be alive with other people. That's actually why you're here. If there's, not to say that it's the meaning of life or the purpose of life, but it's actually the reason why you're here. You're here in order to coexist with other people. That's actually why you're here. So I don't know, I don't know who needs to hear this message or who wants to hear this message because it's not necessarily going to go the way that you want it to. And you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to give up what you believe to be yours. You're going to have to let go of what you're holding on to. Someone else might get it. And it's truly a free economy. And you can't really ultimately ever go in any other direction because that's actually how nature itself functions. We get confused. We invent systems like democracy, like capitalism, free market capitalism, and in some ways, we're trying to model these systems on these ideals that are based on this knowing that we are here to coexist with other people. That's why we're here. And we do our best to create systems that can turn that into a functional reality. And we lose sight of the reason why we're here and the systems go off course and we're way off course right now. Just not to say that we're going in the wrong direction. It's just mentally we've like veered off onto some crazy tangent and no one believes that it makes any sense to distribute wealth in the way that we're doing it. No one believes that at this point, that paper money that we invent and pass around amongst each other and then give billions of that paper to certain people and then other people, many, many, many people get zero of that paper and suffer needlessly. No one believes that that's actually how we're supposed to be actualizing ourselves on this planet. I know that no one believes that. You're just caught up in it, all right? I'll say this, like you're just caught up in it and, and I'm caught up in my own ways too. You know, if you're out there being a uh, tech billionaire, you're caught up. 
you're caught up in it. You're a little bit lost. You're off track. And no matter how clear you think you are, you're not. Because unless your reality is taking into account the fact that you're supposed to be coexisting with everyone else instead of isolating yourself in some castle like we all do. You know, we all live in our little bubbles or our little boxes. I'm doing it right now. And maybe I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious though. You, like there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people who are going to be learning the same lesson, which is truly like, it's selfless. It's a selfless. <sighs> when we are open and when we are really open to giving and receiving in a way that is not superficial and that is not deceptive, we'll get, we'll get what we need. We really will. And the reason why we see such massive wealth inequality has more to do with the fact that we're lying and cheating and stealing. That kind of behavior is far off course because it does not reflect reality and it does not reflect our purpose or mission or anything like that. Anytime that you lie or steal or cheat or deceive another human being, you're making a fundamental, like you're just making a big mistake and it's never going to work for you in the end. You're never going to achieve what it is that you're setting out to achieve by doing that. The second that you do it, you're done. You're just, you're just done. Like you're off. Um, you're not even playing the game anymore. You think you're playing the game, but you're not. As soon as you lie, you're playing your own game by yourself and no one is playing with you. You're not going to get what you want. You, you're never going to get what you want because what you want is to live in harmony, in peace, in coexistence with all of your fellow creatures that live here with you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's so, actually it's so fundamentally obvious that what I'm saying is, is an accurate reflection of something that we all know to be true. You don't need law, you don't need rules, you don't need debates and conversations to figure this out. You just need to have an experience of coming into contact with yourself having your heart open, um, being in love in the bigger picture sense, not just in love with one person, but being in love in the sense of like love with yourself, love with everything. Um, you know, there's no need to disparage that as some kind of idealistic or hippie notion. You're not going to, you're not going to convince anyone that working for the man is the end goal of this human experiment. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's over game over sooner or later, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's happening. It's going to happen faster than we might think because the progress has seemed so slow. Um, but one day everyone is just going to go, and that's it.